So this week uh, we find ourselves in Huddersfield and um, we're on a project for the Forget-Me-Not uh, Children's Hospice, uh, Sunny Yorkshire. This is our hospice building, Russell House, and we support children with life-shortening conditions from across West Yorkshire and their families, both here at Russell House, out in the community, at their homes, in a number of different settings. We first found out about Forget-Me-Not when we had our first-born daughter five years ago because she's got a life-limiting condition. When you hear the word hospice, you kind of get a little bit worried about it. But we actually came and looked and fell in love because it's not a hospice. It's like a home from home. This week, we are incredibly lucky to have Fusion Initiatives and Wooden Spoon delivering a project for us here at Russell House. The woodland walk that we are having built at Forget Me Not will allow our garden to be open to all. It will allow a um, safe environment for our children and our families to explore the environment. The little things that you and I could potentially take for granted is what our children can sometimes really struggle with. And to come here to be able to play outside, it gives me that, that sense of security because I know she can run around and see like nature, get the fresh air. So you can see like when the seasons change, it's really nice for us to be able to just enjoy that. And it will just allow a safe space for our families to create wonderful memories together. So we're bringing that to Russell House with the great help of Fusion and Wooden Spoon. And we're so grateful for the opportunity that it's going to bring to our children and families. Okay, so I'm Danny. Uh, I'm a former Royal Marines Commando, uh, as the majority are. Uh, we've got a few different bits and pieces that need completing or need uh, working on. Obviously the decking being one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, uh, one of the guys to facilitate you guys and we'll get, yep. your, get the plans to you so you can have a look at it. These folk need need the time more than I do, you know. And if we can if we can give a bit back, you know, the, the, their time's ticking out, ticking down. So if we can come and uh, just give a little bit of our time for them, then it's well worth doing. I'm a joiner by trade, so yeah, this is just this is just what we do for a living. So if we can't do it quick, there's something wrong, isn't there? One of the things that's amazing about working in the charity sector and I think is often the thing that gets you out of bed in the morning is the power of communities to come together to do awesome things. So this week having had this woodland walk built with the power of the local community coming together and that's included Fusion, thank you very much Fusion, amazing, uh, Wooden Spoon Charity um, who've done a lot of the funding behind this, again thank you very much. Working with Fusion has been a real game changer for Wooden Spoon. It allows our donors, supporters, teams all to get hands on, get involved and actually see where their money's being spent. And everybody goes away with a real sense of ownership, which means that they are bought into Wooden Spoon, bought into the projects and feel better about themselves and their communities. Working with the Fusion team has made the whole process so much easier and you only have to look around the garden to see the management, the structure, the focus, working with the volunteers and all the work that's going on around us. It's, it's just so busy, it's exciting, it looks amazing and we can't wait to see the end product. Thank you Fusion. Today we've been building a bug house, we've been working with the, the Fusion team, we've been helping us, we've been on our drills, we've been on saws and all sorts and I can't wait to see the finished structure. My husband was a, a joiner, he died about seven years ago and he would have loved to have been here. And I'm going to go into his garage and I'm going to get all his tools out and I might build something for myself. So I think it's a wonderful place, everybody's so, so friendly. I'm, I'm proud of myself. 
I'd just like to take this opportunity to say a huge thank you to everyone who's been involved in this amazing project. We couldn't do things like this without philanthropic support, so thank you for, to everybody who's been involved. A special thank you to all my guys from uh, Fusion. Uh, it's been like the Battle of the Somme here during the week, digging through this mud and everything else. A huge thank you to all of our volunteers here today who've helped us to build the Forget-Me-Not Woodland Walk, which Earl Crabtree is about to open for us. Thank you. But I now declare the Forget-Me-Not Children's Hospice Woodland Walk officially open. Thank you. I just want to say a massive thank you to you all for putting your time into something that means so much to us all. 